In several of my previous Three Minute Gardener segments, I've talked about the beauty and interest that ornamental plants bring to the landscape. But what I'd like to do now is look at several common insect pests that may occur on those plants. What we're looking at here is a magnolia tree that appears quite healthy, but upon closer inspection, it does have a problem. It has magnolia scale. This is a sap feeding insect that as it feeds, it weakens the twigs and plant growth slows down. With heavy infestations, the magnolia scale completely encrusts the branches and these eventually will die. Now the male and female scale become active in the spring. As they feed, the male remains small, but the female swells to about a half an inch in diameter. Later in the summer, late June, uh, mid-July, the female gives birth to young called crawlers. Now if you have magnolia scale in your landscape, the best thing to do is apply a horticultural oil and this is very effective at the crawler stage. Now if you're thinking of purchasing a magnolia tree and putting it in your landscape, it is a good idea to inspect the tree to see if you have any remnants of the magnolia scale. If so, you may want to avoid that purchase. Another tree you can find in the landscape is the box elder tree. Now this is a maple, although it doesn't have the distinct leaf characteristics that you would find in a silver, red, or sugar maple. Now having this tree in your landscape can invite some unwanted pests, the box elder bug. Now the box elder bug does feed on the tree itself, although it is more of a human nuisance pest than a plant pest. This insect tends to gather around the base of the tree or around the buildings during warm autumn days and eventually they're going to seek overwintering sites and head inside a nearby building. Now your control options are several. One is to find the cracks or crevices in the house that they're working their way into and plug them up or caulk them. If this is not an option or you can't find those holes, you can pour hot water on the gathering site and this will kill most of your insects. However, you may destroy some of the desirable vegetation. You can apply some insecticides However, this gathering of box elder bugs is going to be a reoccurring theme every year. So your final solution is to find that box elder tree that is attracting the box elder bugs and cut the tree down. This is a Colorado blue spruce that has several brown cone-shaped swellings at the branch tips. A small sap feeding insect called the Cooley spruce gall adelgid causes these galls to form. The young galls emerge in the spring from eggs and crawl to the base of new needles on emerging tips of the spruce branches. As they begin feeding, they inject a growth hormone into the tree, and the tree responds by creating a gall around the feeding adelgid. This gall protects the adelgid from harsh weather and predators. As the adelgid develops, the gall eventually dries out, openings appear, and the mature adelgid emerges. Now the gall is not harmful to the Colorado blue spruce, but it's more unsightly. If pesticide applications are warranted, it is important to time the pesticide application in the spring when the adelgid is not enveloped by the gall. Another pest of spruces and other evergreens is the bagworm, and the bagworm is easy to recognize by the bags that are suspended from the ornamental plants that this insect feeds upon. The bag is made up of needles and branches from the host plant. Now, insecticides may be warranted in severe infestations, but the easiest way to control bagworm is simply lopping off the bag before the eggs hatch in early spring. Today we've talked about several common insect pests and the damage that they cause, and I hope that this information helps you with those pests in your backyard. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.